Okay, turn in your Bibles to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10. Jeremiah, chapter 10. I'll get my mic on. Jeremiah chapter 10, we'll begin here in verse 19. And then we'll jump to verse 23 and 24. Let's pray, Heavenly Father. Bless this time, I pray. Comfort hearts, Father. Do the healing that needs to be done in every mind and every body. Restore unto us the joy of thy salvation. Lord, that we may walk victoriously for the remaining days or the remaining years of this life on this earth. Till we see thy face. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Jeremiah. In chapter 10 and verse 10 it says this. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting King. Our text verse Jeremiah ten nineteen. Woe is me look at this for my hurt my wound is grievous. But I said truly, this is a grief and I must bear it. Jump over to verse 23. O oh Lord, I know that the way of man, I want you to get this, is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Verse 24. O oh Lord, Correct me. But with judgment. Look at this. Not in thine anger. Lest thou bring me to nothing. Again, verse 19, woe is me for my hurt. I wish there was more people in here tonight. Woe is me for my hurt. My wound is grievous. Verse 
What's your wound? Every one of us has them. Every one of us. We carry them. Every one of us has them. But I said, truly, this is a grief. And I must bear it. Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. God directs our steps. See, when you and I experience, I want you to get this, the healing process. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, from Him, and it's a process that we go through. And sometimes that healing process brings pain. Sometimes the healing process, there's wounds that we have that we that we've that we've uh received maybe many years ago but God through his infinite mercy he begins to peel off them scabs why because that wound healed on the outside but inside it's still bleeding and it's still fresh That healing process that God does, and sometimes He peels them, them scabs off, and then the wound is open. But that wound has to heal from the inside out. When my son, when he was born, he was, he was very sick. He had, what was that? When they done surgery. Yeah. Well, anyway, this wound that he had, I had to, I had to clean it out with, with uh, saline. And I had to pack that wound, my boy. And he was not even a year old, right? Well, why? Because if he just bandaged that wound, it's not going to heal correctly. It's not going to heal, get this, completely. Hmm. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our way is restored. Are you with me? Turn me to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms. Psalm 23. Verse number 3. 
When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our way is restored. Psalm 23, 3 says this, He restoreth my soul. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. For what? For His name's sake. Turn me to Psalm 51. Psalm 51 and verse 12. Psalm 51 and verse 12. Check this out. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And uphold me with thy what? Free spirit. That's amazing. You remember the day you got saved? I remember the day I got saved. Miss Dar, I went nuts. Everything was different. I was happy. I was walking on air. I wanted to attack hell with the holes, garden holes. Something just triggered in me. I don't know what it was. Amazing. Are you less happy now than back then? <laughs> Think of that. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our word is restored. Turn with me now to the book of Titus. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, beginning in verse number 7. We'll be reading verses 7, 8, 9, and 10. Titus chapter 2, beginning here in verse 7, it reads like this. In all things... Showing thyself, look at this, a pattern of good works. In doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity. Sincerity. Look at verse 8. Sound speech that cannot be condemned. 
that he that is of contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Verse number nine. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again. Verse 10, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in what? All things. God has everything we'll ever need. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our worship is restored. Turn with me to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 8. And we'll start in verse 11. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our worship is restored. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Beginning right here in verse 11. We'll go all the way to verse 20. Beware. Deuteronomy 8.11 Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God. In not keeping His commandments. and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Verse 12 Lest when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied. Verse 14. Then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God. Hmm. goes on to say, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. It's like us today. God has brought me out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And it was mainly misdoing my own bondage. I built my own strongholds in my life. Yep. Every time I tried something new, something stupid, it wrapped around me again and again. At first I was functional. I could move around. until one day I couldn't. I 
I was a slave to myself, to my habits. Not much difference. So now in my Christian life, I'm very careful not to forget God. Even when I'm doing well. I don't forget Him. I can't. Verse 15 says, Who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness? <laughs> Wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought where there was no water. Who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint? Verse 16. Who fed thee in the wilderness? with manna which thy fathers knew not that he might get this humble thee and that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end verse 17 and thou say in thine heart my power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. Verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day and it shall be if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God and walk after hmm, other gods what other gods Who can name a couple of gods? Anybody? There you go. That's the big one. Moolah. Mm -hmm. Can name another one. Any of them? What holds you back? You know what's another big God? Yeah, self. Self. I look in the mirror now and compared to 20 years ago, it's not too godly. <laughs> you know? How can I think this be a God? Why do you think you age? God started that right from the beginning. Right at the fall of man. Think about it. Walk after other gods and serve them and worship them. I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. In verse number 20, as the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall ye perish. 
because he would not be hmm, obedient. Unto what? The voice of the Lord your God. Wow. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our worship is restored. You see, by delay of repentance, there's trouble. You see, all God has to use on this earth is broken people. That's all he has to use. All God has to use on this earth, what He chose to use, is broken people. Isn't that amazing? You see, I am just one beggar. Just one beggar that found a piece of bread and wants to give it to another. That's it. That's all I have. And that's all you are. You get a hold of that. That's the person that God will use in a great and mighty way. Repent. Turn away from all those things that's hurting your walk. Get rid of it. Come clean to yourself. Come clean to God. And get busy. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our way is restored. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our will is restored. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our word is restored. When you and I experience the healing process from the Lord, our worship is restored. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, I praise your name. Lord, thank you for meeting with us this evening. Be with those who are, who are absent from this place for whatever reason. I don't know, but you know. Pray, God, you touch them. Tug at the heartstrings of their heart and let them know they were missed. And that they missed something that may could have helped or fixed something in their lives. Father, be with us now as we open up this service for invitation time. Be with those that come forward and bend the knee in prayer. In Jesus Christ's name I pray and ask these things. Amen.